In this video, we'll talk about how to grow muscle while on a vegan diet. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to our channel, Next Gen U, be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to get instant updates on our brand new content. Veganism has grown in popularity over the last few years. Just to put it into perspective, out of the 7.9 billion people on this planet, around 79 million follow a vegan diet. The demographic has expanded so much that people from many walks of life have opted to go fully plant-based. Part of this growing number of individuals are athletes and bodybuilders. And in order to build strength and muscle for their benefit, they'll need to consume a generous amount of protein. Of course, a lot of the world's protein sources are in meat, eggs, and dairy. In a 100-gram piece of meat, you're already getting 26 grams out of 50 grams of the recommended protein intake in a day. As a vegan, you will, of course, need to bag off on the meat. So what will your next best option be? This video should cover all of that, including an ideal diet plan to grow muscles. A bodybuilder's diet. Now, to gain a better perspective of a high-protein vegan diet for muscle building, we'll take a look at a bodybuilder's typical diet. These are the type of athletes who very much need those high amounts of protein to be able to do what they do best. First, let's take a look at the numbers. In order for optimal muscle growth to happen, a person should consume high amounts of protein. We're looking at around 2.2 grams of protein per kilogram of body weight each day. And since you, as a vegan, cannot consume any animal products, plant-based protein sources are your best bet. Some good examples are seitan, quinoa, tofu, and legumes. At the same time, you'll also need to consume a considerable amount of fat. This is essential to promote muscle gain because fat provides double the number of calories that carbs and protein have per gram. Ideally, you'd want to consume about a gram of healthy fat per kilo of body weight per day to achieve muscle growth. Some of the good food sources are chia seeds, olive oil, nuts like pistachios, coconut in all of its variations, and of course, avocados. Other food sources. Now, let's take a look at other foods to consume if you want to build more muscle as a vegan. These food choices are commonly overlooked outside of the usual suggestions of oats, whole grains, beans, tofu, fruits, and vegetables. Most of them contain a hefty amount of protein, along with other important nutrients like calcium, vitamin B12, and essential omega-3s. Nutritional yeast. Vitamin B12 is an essential nutrient to keep our nerves and blood cells healthy. It may help improve mood, prevent major birth defects, and support bone health, among many others. Vitamin B12 deficiency may lead to unfavorable effects like weakness, shortness of breath, heart palpitations, and pale skin. As a vegan, nutritional yeast is your best source of vitamin B12. Apart from being a good protein source, it also contains nutrients like thiamine, riboflavin, and niacin, especially when fortified. You can use nutritional yeast in several different ways to add that umami element for soups, as a cheese substitute flavoring for sauces, and as a topping for pasta or snacks like popcorn. Spirulina. If you follow today's health and nutritional trends, you'll see spirulina among the list of top commodities. But what is it exactly? In a nutshell, spirulina is a blue-green algae that grows both in fresh and salt water. It usually comes in powder form, which makes it a very good addition to your smoothies. Best of all, it is packed with nutrients. A single tablespoon or 7 grams of spirulina already contains 4 grams of protein. Along with it are other nutrients like vitamins B1, B2, and B3, which comprises 11%, 15%, and 4% of the recommended dietary allowance, respectively. It also contains copper, which comprises 21% of the RDA, and iron, which makes up for 11% of the RDA. Apart from smoothies, you can also infuse spirulina into desserts like vegan pies and chocolates, as well as in protein bars. Quinoa. We need carbs for energy, and if you're doing exercises intended for muscle growth, you'll need to consume a lot of it. A good source of healthy carbohydrates also makes for the perfect rice alternative, just in case you want to change things up. We're talking about quinoa. This super grain has grown in popularity over the last few years, especially for those who want healthier options for their food. As for its nutritional value, quinoa has a whole lot. A single cup or 185 grams already contains 8 grams of protein and 5 grams of fiber. It is also packed with other needed nutrients like manganese, folate, phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, zinc, and iron. Visit any health food store or restaurant and you'll see different variations of quinoa dishes. 
And if you want to enjoy it at home, it goes well with salads, breakfast porridges, and as an addition to Buddha bowls. You can even infuse it into your veggie burgers and vegan taco meat to add that extra depth of texture and nutritional value. Now to give you a better look at how to nourish yourself as a vegan, we'll look at a typical diet plan of a vegan bodybuilder whose ultimate goal is muscle growth. This should also give you a vivid idea of how to plan your daily meals if you're after the same result. First, you'd want to start the day with some protein right away. A good way to do it would be a bowl of oatmeal with vegan protein powder, banana, and your choice of nut butter. Top that off with your favorite non-dairy milk. For lunch, you'd want to load up on the carbs to provide you with the energy to face the day ahead. How do you do it? With some vegan pasta, tofu stir-fry, alongside a healthy serving of red lentils, beans, onion for that added flavor, and some spinach. As dinner time comes, you can have something light but filling. You can make yourself some teriyaki tempeh with a bowl of broccoli and some quinoa on the side. To fill the void during those hours in between meals, you can have yourself a healthy snack. An easy but fulfilling option would be a strawberry banana protein shake, some roasted chickpeas with pepper flakes, or some avocado and toast if you're about to do some workouts. Of course, if you want to effectively build muscle, you'll need to complement that diet with proper lifestyle practices. Stay away from processed food. There's nothing criminally wrong about eating pre-packaged food. Every once in a while, it's alright to indulge in them. But for the most part, you'd want to stay away from processed foods which likely contain unhealthy ingredients like refined sugar, which will only do more harm than good in the long run. They can also hamper your performance, which may be a hindrance to your overall objective of growing muscle. As much as possible, go with whole foods. Your body will thank you later. Do some mobility exercises. It's one thing to build muscle and strength, and it's a whole other thing to keep yourself mobile. The more range in motion you have, the more muscles you engage. Ultimately, you make your muscles work, which fosters their growth. Doing your routine squats, deadlifts, and kettlebell swings are very well and good, but if you also want to do this for longer, consider supplementing these workouts with some hip openers, ankle mobility exercises, and some yoga poses like the child's pose, downward facing dog, warrior one and warrior two, and the chair pose. Do more high intensity workouts. HIT programs are a hit among exercise enthusiasts today. In just a short period of time, you're able to work out multiple muscle groups in your body. You can do them in the gym or in the comfort of your own home. Here's a simple HIT workout. Sprint in place and mountain climbers. Work for a total of 30 seconds, then rest for 10. Repeat this cycle nine more times for a total of 10 sets. What's great about HIIT exercises is that they work out your cardio for better conditioning while also strengthening and building muscles. Don't skimp on your pre- and post-workout meals. Pre-workout meals are important to fortify your body with adequate amounts of energy you'll need through a workout. On the other hand, you'll need post-workout meals to restore glycogen levels, which were greatly depleted during the workout. Glycogen is a form of energy storage that will help build your muscles as you rest. For pre-workout snacks, load up on both protein and carbs. Some good examples are low-fat muesli with coconut yogurt, overnight oats with almond or soy milk, or even something as simple as a cooked sweet potato. After working out, you'll also need a small amount of carbs to prevent muscle breakdown. Some good meals to go with are lentil spaghetti bolognese, rolled oats with yogurt, chia seeds and berries, and a lentil burger on a multi-grain bun with a side salad. Keep yourself hydrated. Our bodies are made up of 65% water. Not only will your body keep its strength, but keeping yourself hydrated can also help reduce the protein breakdown after a workout. Instead, you'll undergo protein synthesis, which helps your body grow further. You'd want to consume as much water as you can, and that will depend on each person and other factors like body type and age. But as a rule of thumb, men should be consuming about 3 liters of water or 15 and a half cups per day. Women, on the other hand, should be drinking about 2.7 liters or 11 and a half cups per day. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, NextGenU, be sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell.